Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create multi step forms in Elementor or basically how you can convert your existing long forms in Elementor into multi step forms in the new version of Elementor which is actually 2.10. So in case you don't have 2.10 of Elementor Pro then you won't have this feature but if you have 2.10 and above then that means you'll be able to use this feature in your Elementor website. So let's get started. So at the moment you see I'm on a contact page of one of the websites I run and I have this form over here which basically has a name field, an email field, a form field and a couple of multi choice options and in the message field. And this form may overwhelm your website visitor or user. So in this case we can use the new feature in Elementor which is called the multi step form to make this form actually look a little bit brief and make it easy for your website visitor to fill and submit. So how do we do that? So I've already opened up my contact page in Elementor or you can simply open up any page that has a form that you want to convert into a multi-step form with Elementor. So what I'm going to do is simply just come over here. I'm going to duplicate this whole section because I basically want to retain each and every other thing including the form over here. What I'm simply going to do is to convert this form. So I go to the new section that has been duplicated and I'm going to select our form. And uh, if you don't know how to create such a form, for example, if I don't have this form, I simply just come over here, search for the form widget, drag the form widget over right here. And over here, I can add a number of items to our form. For example, I can say, I want to add the font field, let me say font, which is under the tail. Then I can say font, and maybe also the placeholder, font. Okay, and then later I can also add some multi choice options. For example, I just come over here, look up for the checkbox option, and then you can say service of your interest. You can add the options, the ones you want to appear as multi choice options on this exact form field. I start by adding the number one called Safari. I'll then add a pipe, enter. And then later I'll also add another service. I'll add a pipe and then enter and then I'll add another service. Pipe, enter and then I'll also add another one. Something of that sort. And over here you can either choose to use a list or an inline option for your multi choice options. So now we have already created our form. Now when you look onto this form and this over here, they look pretty much the same. So I can reposition my multi choice options uh, from appearing right here at the end. I can move them just up here and also the phone field over right there. Okay, so now we have the name, email, phone field, multi choice option and then the message. Okay, now we have a new form created. Next, what we are going to do is to create the multi step option. So I'm going to delete this over here. I'm going to come back here, copy our first form, come back here to our widget, paste our other form that we already had, and we're simply going to convert this form. So to convert our newly created form or an existing form into a multi step form, we're going to simply come over right here to our widgets and we're going to add a new item under the form widget and we're going to select the item type of this to be step just down below here and now when you look over right here we have two options we have the first step and the next step so we can basically add a number of steps on this form so the first item here we can add our label title we can say basic info for example we can add custom text to display on our previous button and the next button for example the next button we can say give it like continue and then here you can say back or something of that sort. So you can choose an icon to display at the top over right here. So for example, when I come over here to the icon option, for example, let me say this icon. And after choosing your icon, you can simply insert the icon. So the next step, we can add also our other information. For example, we can say our next step is going to just appear after the phone. We can rename this step to be maybe more info and the previous and that means we have now two steps, the first step and the next step. We can also duplicate this and then we say just after our second last item, we can say your message or we can say message. 
and now let's look at how our form looks like so by scrolling right down here hamza is my name hamza at mail i continue boom now we are on the next step the next step remember it is just below over here on the service of interest uh, which has the mouth choice options and that means that on the next step we'll have our mouth choice options appear if someone clicks next then the message option will appear just like you see over right here we have our first step and the first step has the name email and the phone and the more info someone will basically choose one of the options in the mouth choice options and the message step will display a text box whereby someone will enter in the message on why they are basically writing to us about that specific service so when we scroll right way down below here there is another option added called the step settings and under the step settings we can display the type instead of us showing a number and a text we can display maybe only the text up here for example only the text maybe basic info more info and then the message we can display an icon from the icons that we chose for each and every step we can choose a number number one two three four the steps or i prefer the progress bar which is just like this and then we can customize our progress bar and how it's looking like for example if we go over here on the style and then we simply come here on the steps option then we have something called a background color background color for the steps so in this case i'll make it transparent and then over here we can choose the color of our progress bar and then we can choose the color of our percentages for example if we want it to be in white and then also we can choose the typography i'll just leave that at default when i update you realize that now instead of having numbers and text we are basically having a progress bar and now if i enter in my basic info let me say my email my name and then my phone number i continue you see that now we basically have a progress bar and someone then here will choose you know one of the options and then you can simply say next and here they can submit the form including the message so now let's try to do a little bit of more customizations maybe we want our progress bar to be a little bit uh, bigger we can give it a height something like this and if you want also to add a border radius you can also add a border radius to your form i think this actually looks nice and then when we come back here to our form for example you can add column gaps and then row gaps so how do these look like for example let me come back here to our content and under content i'm going to come here to the form i'm going to come back here to the name column width i'm going to make it 50 percent and then i'm going to come here to the email field i'm going to make it also 50 percent and now that will move our name and email field to be on the same line now when i come back here to the style and i come here to the column gap um, i can simply increase on the column gap just you see like there and something like that so i can just leave it at 10 and then the row gap you see when i increase the row gap that's how it looks like you can change the label color to something of that sort or you can simply just change it to any color that you prefer to have on your labels and then for the field types you can also change that to the color that you want for your fields or in case you don't want the fields you can also hide them just in case you don't want them to show up you can also change the button color to the color that you want and on hover also you can do the same by changing it to the other colors that you want to be used on that specific form and then for the message you can also set custom colors for your specific notification messages over right there but now there is something we have to set up under the content when you scroll down below here the actions after submit you want that you receive an email and then that email will come to your email just like you see over right here and the message title will basically be new message from this website and you basically collect all the information from your form and the from email will basically be the email from your website and if you want to reply you basically want to reply to the email field and this is the email that will have been fed in right here by your website visitor and over right here there is something called the metadata this is what will also added into the email when you receive to know the time and date and the user ip when the person actually used the form once that is done you can now update your form when we come here now to our contact page you see that now we have this over right here the name the email fields and then the form fields and i enter in my email okay and then my phone number i say continue 
and then the service that I'm interested in maybe it is honeymoon and then I can also still say next I can still go back to maybe make some changes right here on my name and email when I continue still remember it will still have selected those options that you previously selected and then I can still say next in here I can say you see now that our progress bar is showing 100% and this is because all the form fields are over and this is the very last step our website visitor has to fill when I say submit boom that will be sent as an email now since you're done converting your conventional forms into a multi step form what I'm going to simply do is delete this section and now I have my new section over here I'll simply update I'll go to the live page and boom when I scroll just below here you see that we have our form over here all our fields indicated and in case you will try to go to the next option without filling in some of the fields over here of course it will prompt you to fill in all the required fields and if you have those fields filled in then you go next and then you enter in your message and then you are good to submit so in a nutshell that's how you can create or convert your existing forms in Elementor into multi step forms in case you have any questions or comments about this video please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give it a like and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button